Okay, look who I have today. <laughs> Hi. I've got Laura Ingram, who has a hot new website, uh, Life Z. Yes, sir. It's, what, what's it's like? wild. It's a, it's a lifestyle website for the rest of us. People who uh, feel like there's no place to go to learn more about parenting or faith or pop culture, health, parenting. and politics. I'll be right on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got three little kids, and I don't know what the heck I'm doing half the time, so I needed a resource of information, commentary, video uh, to, to learn more about most of the areas we, we really care about. I mean, politics is a small part of most people's lives, if, if any part of people's lives. So this website really is uh, geared toward people who live fast-paced lives. They don't have a lot of time to read 2,000-word yep. articles. So this is well, snackable got, content, snackable. Well, you identified a lot of the people in this country. Yeah, that's and so the big gonna, audience. You're going to pick up the audience. Big audience. You sure. Okay, we, uh, we've talked a lot about politics today. Yeah. You, you want to talk about politics? Sure. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a crazy 2016 campaign season that has... Strangest, now you know how long I've been around. Yeah, you're 59 this year. Yeah, so it's 59. That's you. You're a little older than no, I, am, I. I but, voted 59 times for, for no, <laughs> yeah, well, something. No, like but that. really, uh, I was in Des Moines not too long ago, and I said uh, I have never voted for a Democrat for president of the United States. And first question was, who was the first Republican you voted for? And it was straight face. And I believe. If you tell someone with a straight face, you will be amazed how many people believe it. Okay, I said, well, it'd have to be Abe Lincoln. And there was a pause. <laughs> Nobody laughed. It was, I know it went five seconds before somebody said, no, he didn't vote. No, of course not. I'm not that old. Yeah, well, but people do. But everyone should know that Boone has done this to me <laughs> over the years <laughs> no. and said the most shocking things. And I will, he completely reels me in. And I'm like, you're kidding me. And then he'll look at me like, no, I'm not. It's a joke. And I'm, <laughs> I'm just so embarrassing. So that does not surprise me. But you have a way of delivering but, ridiculous statements in a way that's, that are really believable. So I'm telling you. You should have run and become president of the United States because oh, sure. you can get people to believe things Why do you think, that are not true. You think I'm too old now? No, I just think you. You know, <laughs> who's going to leave this place? You know, to go to the shabby White House. I mean, <laughs> you could fit it, the White it, House it, in this room. I think this actually. Is, this is a nice place. Yeah, it's it's it's, yeah. it's, it's all right. Okay, it's right. now let's let's. This is the screwiest time <laughs> in politics I have ever experienced. More so during uh, the Lincoln-Douglas debates, so yeah, it's harder, yeah. But um, no kidding, you are such a good uh, historian. You are, you're better than I am. No, not that. really. And, but uh, how is this thing gonna run out? Well, I said from the beginning that this idea that the more the merrier, everyone kept saying, oh, the more the merrier, look at all these Republicans who are in, it's gonna be great. And I think two years ago, you and I were talking about this, and I said, we need one conservative alternative to whoever the establishment GOP picks ahead of time. And I think we now know that the person that they picked was Jeb Bush. They, you know, all these people sent money to Jeb and I like him as, I like him by the way, very much. He's mm -hmm. a great guy, he was a good governor of Florida. But I knew that after the Bush, last Bush term and, and, and the fact that Jeb hadn't run for office, last time he did the iPhone hadn't been invented, it was a long time ago, <laughs> that it was gonna be a hard iPhone. sell. <laughs> that it was gonna be a hard sell. So what happened is all these people got in the race and yet none of, them, none of them had that stickiness that you need. Stickiness meaning they really connect with the people. So Jeb has all the money, and none of these other candidates could get much traction. Then Trump comes along, and he sees an opportunity. He sees an opportunity to talk about trade and immigration and jobs from a businessman's perspective. And you and he are very different in personality, but you are a very common sense person. He has a lot of common sense, even though, you know, he has a different style. He's a little more brasher, like you're a little more understated common sense. He's more brash. Um, but it's so bad in Washington that people look at Trump and, and they think, God, that guy seems to kind of make sense. And yeah, he's a little, sometimes a little rough around the edges, but he talks like but I talk. he's the only one there in that category, while the other category has. They're vying for the establishment support. They're, they're trying to figure out how to get the 50 richest families in the country to support them, which means they have to contort themselves into all these positions that don't really 
mesh with the grassroots. So Trump doesn't need that money. And so for now, at least, he can he's, he's like the guy at the end of the bar because this person's stupid and they screwed things up in Washington and I'm going to fix it. That's and, his whole pitch. And, his, but now, though, I yeah. will say this. He went a long time just criticizing. Yeah. And, uh, and he started coming up with some a plan, a yeah. tax, tax plan. plan. He has yeah. an immigration plan out there. And, and, and it, I think it's going to be, in the end, very difficult for him to, to win the nomination because I think the, the establishment still has so much power. The Bushes have so much power. And I think it's, we'll see what happens. It's crazy. I, I, I would never have predicted, obviously, that Donald, I didn't even think he was going to run. So, but uh, he's, I didn't he's, think he would. I didn't think he would either. I thought much, he'd talk about it. Yeah, much but. like, you know, if we, people want you to run, you, you have a lot of business interests. It's a lot to take on if you already have established a whole business brand and that's your life. I mean, it's, it's a lot to, lot to transition to. But he saw an opening and he took that opening. Do you think uh, he was surprised at uh, what, what was there? Maybe... Maybe he, maybe not so much. I don't, I don't know how surprised he was. I think he's, he knows what he's good at, and he did it. He's good at building a brand. His brand is Make America Great Again. Yep. He stuck with that brand. I think, I think he was surprised that all at once he, he maybe he, he was. I haven't uh, talked on to him the about that. Top of the heap. Yeah, I, I didn't believe. I, I, I could. I was surprised. Do you know him? Oh, I know him. Sure, I know him. Know him well. Yeah. Well, like. How well you mean we run around together, yeah. shoot quail together? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> None yeah. Of that. None of okay. that. No, I, I've known him for a long time, and uh, first time I met him was at Ace Greenberg's uh, 60th birthday party. Wow. And I sat next to <clears throat> Obama, and he was across the table, mm -hmm. and I didn't know who he was. I'm I'm not a real estate guy. So yeah. It didn't mean. And probably he didn't know who I was either. <laughs> and so, but it was, uh, I've known him a long time. I talked to him the other day mm -hmm. and he, he was, we were talking about energy. Yeah. And you know what I found out with the people who are the most successful that I've had the privilege of interviewing or meeting, I've always found that they're more interested in the people that are talking to them than interested in talking about themselves. And even though Trump is like, I wrote the art of the deal and I did this, when one-on-one -on -one, when you meet Donald Trump, and I've only had met him like two times in person, but I had lunch with him maybe 15 years ago, maybe 12 years ago, and I was expecting this brash kind of guy. All he wanted to talk about was how does the radio business work? Explain the advertising. Tell me about the stations. Do they own the content? He was just trying to suck up information. And by the end of this lunch, I was like, I, I didn't ask him any questions. Like he, all he did was want he, to talk about my business. What, that's interesting. I, but I. But think, you do that too. You yeah. always, you're always interviewing people, and you get a lot of information out of people I do, that way. I, I keep telling my guys, don't you go to lunch and pay for the lunch and talk all the time. I said, right. Yeah. Get some information. Right. Bring it back and tell me what you found out. Right. Yeah. So that's and, that's an that's an interesting part of him that a lot of people don't know. But you wouldn't know that in watching him on the stump because it's all about Trump. Okay, Trump, Trump. we spent a lot of time on Trump. Yeah. Uh, what do you think he will get the nomination? I think it's probably about a thirty percent chance he'll get the nomination. I still I still believe probably in the end. That, and this is only because of history. Now history's wrong. Uh, history's right until it's wrong, right? But the history of how these things go is usually. The establishment has its way. The money has its way. The money's with Jeb, um, but Jeb obviously has almost no following in the public. So I think it, 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 another candidate could emerge to be the compromise candidate. You know, I don't know and who that would be. Rubio? Could be Rubio. Could be Fiorina. Maybe could even be Chris Christie. Chris Christie. You know, I know his. He still needs. Well, Carly to me. Yeah. She was on the JV team. Mm -hmm. I think she was. It was perfect the way they <clears throat> she went there first. Oh, and the, and the early debate, the first yes, time around. and it just blew them out. She cleared the floor. Yeah, she, was, she was fantastic. I, I wrote her a note and said, you broke every dish in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and she, then they moved her up to varsity. Mm -hmm. and, That's a good way of looking at it. Speaking she, of football. And she goes to the varsity and she. Dominated. She had the same results yeah. as she did JV. Yeah. And uh, it, it's good. I mean, a woman is very smart. I mean, she pre she prepares for a debate 
And clearly Trump just doesn't prepare for one second. Clearly he's no, just not he, interested in preparing. That's not, he's like, why do I need to prepare? I'm Donald I, Trump. I know all the answers. Right. I and, and then she's like studying Kyrgyzstan's here and she's figuring it all out. Oh, so. oh she gave you, uh, we need 350 yeah. ships and yeah. all. I, I was, couldn't I was follow with that. with a Navy guy. I said, she needs to change that. We need 420. But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll but, see you 10 more ships. But you are like her. I mean, you anticipate the question uh, before the questions even ask are half ask. Uh-oh. And, I don't uh, know if that's good. And you, but no, I mean, you're ready to go with the answer. She has to. Yeah. She doesn't hesitate. Yeah, so she's anyway. talented. She's talented. So anything could happen. Trump could get the nomination. But if I had to bet right now, I'd probably say there will be a bridge candidate who emerges, who's not Jeb and who's not Trump, but comes in and says, I want the Trump supporters. I respect you. And the establishment, you guys got to learn some lessons here, and we got to bring this party back together. So that's what well, we know that. I mean, great happening this week. Uh, Boehner, Boehner's out. out. Yeah, yeah. And I cried. He's a crier, but I, I, I cried tears of joy. Yes. You did? Oh, tears of joy. Yeah. I'm just teasing. I mean, he's he's actually a nice guy, but well, it wasn't working. Let's face it. Let's it wasn't let's working. make this one of two. Yeah. After it's over with, <laughs> if we look pretty good on these remarks, yeah. That let's do a second. If we okay. Don't, if we don't throw the first one away. Sure. We'll just pretend it didn't. Would never happen in the first place. Fantastic. Well, Laura, thank you very much. My pleasure. Yeah. Great to see you, Boone, and uh, I'm going to have you on my pod- podcast soon. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's a deal. All right. Good. All right.